Hey guys, I'm Nate Edwards with BYU Photo and I'm going to go over my entire workflow for a photo shoot. I feel like I've been able to refine it over the years and work a lot faster than I used to. So hopefully we'll be able to show you some tips that may speed up your workflow so you can get images in and deliver it a lot quicker. My workflow has changed, you know, depending on the job that I've worked. So this will be this is kind of my current workflow here at BYU Photo. Uh, so you can tailor you know, the things that you see here, if there's anything that's beneficial to kind of meet your individual needs. So I have my memory card here from a shoot that we're going to put in and from beginning to end, hopefully it's not too boring, uh, just this, this is my workflow. And uh, it's, it's saved me a lot of time over the years. All right, so I have this little folder down here that I've created. I just called it new shoot for new shoot. And then if you double click on it, you'll see the folder structure I have in here. And we'll go over how I use that. This is where I have all of my photo shoots stored. It's on a rated hard drive connected to my computer. And uh, so I'll simply drag my new shoot folder in here. Copies over. And folder structure is there. All right, so I'm going to select the images here on my memory card, copy them over. While this is copying, actually go to our shoot log. Okay, so I'm just going to put in this shoot name here. With the shoot number. and then the date. Well, that's copying. So my initials as the photographer, how many hours I spent on it, and then for which department. And then it should be done copying. I look back over here, 495. So I put that in the frames. All right, so I'm going to copy this and then rename my folder. And then I'm going to select all on copy just so I have that copied to my clipboard because I will be using it later. All right, so then I'm going to drag my folder down to Photo Mechanic. All right, here's the thing. This has saved me so much time. If you are not using Photo Mechanic, you need to use Photo Mechanic. I wasted, I would say, hours and hours using Adobe Bridge or Lightroom, right? Where you're going through your folder, you're trying to get your selects, you hit your down button or you switch files, and the image like has to render and it just takes forever. And so you're going through one image and you wait for it. Going through another image and you wait for it. Photo Mechanic is like, it is super fast. It will shave hours off of your workflow, literally hours. So especially if you have a photo shoot where you're doing thousands of photos, man, you need, a, you need to use Photo Mechanic. We won't go over really how to use Photo Mechanic in this, just showing you uh, my workflow. So all my images are here right now. So I'm going to select all. And I don't spend a lot of time going through uh, my images. I want to just get rid of the bad ones, right? So hit spacebar to go in here. And then I'm just going to hit T to tag the image. When I hit T, if you look down here, you'll see the little check mark. And then you can filter it by the ones that are tagged or not tagged later. So I'm going to go through, just pick the ones that, you know, that I think are good. You know, as we're testing our light. So this was a little, um, little diorama that was in our visitor center that was just made. We went to go photograph it. So I'm just going through really quickly making selects of my photos. Not really taking a ton of time.
Okay, so I went through all of my photos. Now I'm going to hit Command T to select all the images that I've tagged. So I tagged 224 of the 495 photos that I'll keep. And so from here, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to rename the images real quick. And then I'm going to add my metadata. So keywords, we have another video where we go through structured keywords. Um, this one's a little bit unique, so I'm just gonna put keywords that people may use to search this image on our website. the metadata. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to my raw folder and all the images that are not renamed I'm going to put in my throwaways folder. Alright so now I'm going to go back. So I'm going to do a really fast run on all of the images that we selected and I'm going to pick just my favorite photos. Uh, the ones that I really really like and those are the ones that I'll edit and get out to the customer. When I'm going through picking my photos, I, I want to be kind of in control of what goes out there, right? I want to be putting my best images out there first. And so I will give people options of my favorites before I give them everything else. Because we have all experienced this probably to some degree or another. When you give somebody the choice to pick a photo, it's usually the very one that you do not want them to pick. So I want to be in control of that, right? I want what I feel the best images for BYU to go out there first and have those be the first options that people look at. For the most part, in our situation, people are extremely happy with, with that and uh, they don't need to see anymore. Or we, we say that you, know, you can look at the rest and if there's anything else that you want, you know, we can get that edited for you too. But these are the ones that are my favorites from the shoot. So I'm just gonna go through really quick and everybody in our office has a different color to color tag their images. And mine is, uh, mine's green. So this is a fun just overall one that I'll keep for the office. And then I will just go through again really briefly and just pick some of my favorites that I think will work uh, best for what we're using. All right, so now I have my favorites that I've selected and I've color tagged. So now I'm gonna hold down Option, click on the green. So these are the ones that I'm going to edit. So I'm just gonna select all of them and then Command E to edit in Photoshop. So now I have all of these pulled up. So now I'm gonna show you how to do a batch process. If you haven't learned how to do a batch process, this will save you an additional hours of time. Um, so you don't have to go through and edit each individual photo. Really simple, most of us probably know about it, but for those who don't, man, this will save you a ton of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna pick one photo. For the most part, my exposure and everything in there, in these images are relatively the same. So I'm going to essentially edit one photo and apply those settings across to all of the photos. So I don't have to go through each one and edit them all individually. So I'm just gonna do a quick edit on this image here. And then I'm just going to select all and sync those settings. So what I did is I hit Command A and then Option S Option S is the synchronize. You can also go up here to this drop down 
and hit sync settings, same thing. And then you can pick which settings you want to sync. So let's say I don't want to sync the white balance or I don't want to sync the exposure. Let's just click that one off because I did change the exposure. And I want to sync everything else. I want to sync my contrast. I want to sync my saturation. I want to sync the vignetting. I want to sync everything else but my exposure. Hit OK. You'll notice the changes you know, are applied all the way down. So then I'll go through and I'll just adjust one really briefly. Um, individually. I'm not going to take a ton of time on them. Just a little bit. So all of the images are done. I'm going to select all save images. And then I'm going to save them to that folder. I'm going to hit done. Wait for those to save. I'm going to go ahead and drag over my edited into photo mechanic. and then wait for those images to all show up. Okay, all the images are here. They're renamed metadata. So now I'm going to upload the oh, now I'm going to upload them to Libris. Now you can do that a couple ways. You can just you can just drag and drop the images from your desktop over to your open browser with whatever um, online data management software you use. We're using Libris right now. I'm just going to upload it straight from Photo Mechanic. So I'm going to go to where we would have that normally stored. July. I'm going to create new gallery. That was on the other screen. Copy paste. I'm going to inherit permissions. Create. There it is. And I forgot to select my images. Make sure they're selected when you do that. Let's go back up there. And then hit send. And then my photos are uploading right now. So one last thing, if you look in my folder structure here on the screen, you'll notice different color tags. So red, you know, comes from default with the new shoot. Red means it needs attention, right? Something's not done. With the blue, it's uploaded to Libris, and green is copied archived to our server. So from here, I'm going to drag and drop this over to our server to make sure that it's archived. Wow, that was probably the fastest 18 gigabytes you have ever seen transferred. So from there, now that it's uploaded, I will unclick my red because it no longer needs attention. It has been uploaded to Libris, and it has been archived on our server. That way, I can just keep track of everything. Make sure that it's archived. Make sure that I've uploaded it online. Now I know I'm done with that. So in a small amount of time, we were able to download our card, we were able to enter the information into the shoot log. We were able to make our selects in photo mechanic. We were able to edit in camera raw, do batch processing, and upload the images to our website really quickly. And uh, we went through uh, almost 500 images to do that. And it's, I don't have my watch on, but I assume it was not very long. If you have any questions, please email us at photo at byu.edu. Hopefully this workflow video was helpful and uh, that you can apply at least one thing in here to help speed up your workflow a little bit more. And we'll see you until next time.